we're going to look at some of the problems that we did in uh, class this morning. We have a skydiver. This is similar to our bell work from the other day. He's falling. His weight is 600 newtons. The air resistance acting on him is 200 newtons. And that's going to give us a net force of 400 newtons. What is the person's mass? Well, acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. But we're going to say that that's approximately 10, just so that we can do this calculation easily in our head. The person's mass, mass is weight divided by gravity. That's going to be 600 newtons divided by 10. And it's going to give us a mass of 60 kilograms. So how can we calculate this person's acceleration? Well, we need to know net force. And we need to divide it by mass. The net force is 400. The mass is 60. And when you divide those out, you get 6 and 2 thirds, or 6.66 repeating. So we're going to round that off to 6.7, 6.7 meters per second squared. Now, without air resistance, we know that this person would accelerate towards the surface of the Earth at a rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. But the acceleration is actually less than that because of the force of air resistance that counteracts the uh, force due to gravity. So we get an acceleration that's less than 9.8 meters per second squared. And actually, the faster this person falls, and the longer they fall, the less the acceleration will be uh, because the air resistance, as that person gets faster, the air resistance actually increases. All right, we have another situation down here. I'm going to use a different color pen so that we can distinguish between the two problems. Here we have the same skydiver. And this time, he has gotten tired of free fall, and he has pulled his chute. Well, his weight is still 600 newtons. But this time, he has pulled his chute. And basically, a parachute is a big old air catcher. And so our air resistance is going to increase tremendously to 2,000 newtons. And the net force this time is going to be 1,400 newtons, but it's going to be upward. His mass is still the same. It's still the same guy, so 60 kilograms. We don't need to redo that calculation. And then we need to calculate acceleration. Acceleration, again, is net force divided by mass. Net force is 1,400 newtons divided by 60 kilograms. And if I trust the calculation of one of my students earlier, that should come out to 23.3 meters per second squared. Now, which way is the net force? The net force is up. Which way is the acceleration? it's also up because things accelerate always in the direction of the net force. The source of confusion here is thinking that this person all of a sudden quits falling and actually starts to move in an upwardly direction, which is not the case. Um, here, before he pulls his parachute, his velocity vector is down. His acceleration is also oriented down, remember? And so these two have an additive effect, and it's going to wind up increasing velocity. So he's going to fall faster and faster and faster as time goes by. Here, once he pulls his parachute, the situation is very different. This person still has velocity oriented down, meaning he's still falling. 
but this time the acceleration acts in an upwardly direction and so what that's going to wind up doing is decreasing his velocity. So the acceleration acting upward you can just kind of think of well it's counteracting his motion it's it's working to slow him down so his velocity when he pulls the parachute is actually going to decrease and a lot of times the source of this is confusing or made more confusing by the fact that you know if you've ever watched um, video footage of somebody falling uh, and skydiving a lot of times they're being filmed by somebody else who's also skydiving right along with them well when the person who pulls the parachute suddenly slows down they're not keeping up they're not in the same position with the person that's filming with the camera so the the camera man still continues to fall and from their perspective and from the videotape perspective it sort of looks like they all of a sudden go upward but that's really kind of um, a uh, an optical illusion because they just kind of slammed on the brakes that's what the parachute did for them and the person with the camera has continued to fall so it's a little bit deceptive um, the acceleration in the upward direction like I said works to decrease the velocity that's why you pull your chute you want to slow yourself down before you get to the ground and so it's going to actually work against the downward velocity and increase uh, decrease that downward velocity to a safe speed but the person is not actually going to reverse their direction and start to go up that's that's an erroneous assumption